When Henry Ford launched the famous Model T, he wasn't exactly hot on optional extras. These days, though, the Ford Motor Company is at the forefront of the convergence between the automotive and the communications sectors and is offering its customers access to cloud-based services. What we're really doing is, is different than any other manufacturer. Really, we're viewing the vehicle as a UI, um, as a gateway to services outside of the vehicle. So, for instance, we've built three platforms, a software platform in the vehicle. You know it as Sync. It's a Windows uh, CE-based, CE6 originally based software platform. And on top of that platform, we can put incremental applications, and it can be continuously updated. We've also connected a series of partners out in the Internet space. We call it the Ford Service Delivery Network. But the cool thing about that is it's connected through a series of APIs, an open architecture, and we can plug and play different services. And so we can harness the power of the Internet, things like 14 million up-to-date points of interest. And probably most importantly is we're leveraging the customer's phone and devices that they bring into the car. We call this overall strategy built-in, brought-in, beamed-in. So built-in is the sync technology we build into the vehicle. Okay, brought-in is the devices, the consumer electronic devices our customers bring into the car. Beamed-in is the information we beam in, content, personalized data services from the Internet. It significantly reduces the cost to our customers. So, for instance, we don't have to bolt a phone into the car that could be outdated in a couple of years. Um, we don't have to charge you, our customers, for an incremental voice or data plan. We leverage the voice and data plan that's on your phone. And then when you bring in a phone that, for instance, has 3G or 4G capability, we'll be able to leverage that as well. Today what we do is we pass data from the vehicle out to the network and back through your voice plan. So everyone's phones work. You don't have to have a smartphone. And what that does is we can offer services like 911 Assist and Vehicle Health Report free for the life of the vehicle. We can offer traffic, directions, personalized information, business search for free for the first three years of vehicle ownership. None of our competitors can offer that kind of value. And that's what we call the democratization of, of technology. It's amazing that about 25% of all business listings and addresses go out of date in one year. We have 14 million uh, up-to-date points of interest in business listings out in the network. Okay, it's the same, uh, it's the same uh, database that the, wi the wireless companies use and the land-based companies, AT&T, Verizon, etc. That database is now available to our embedded nav system. So you can call up the network through a voice exchange and say, find me the closest Starbucks or find me the closest Panera Bread. It'll find you the closest one and then download that uh, lat long to your vehicle and send it to your nav system. So now you like the map, you like the, the embedded nav system with a map, okay, it'll send that to your nav system and then your nav system can direct you to that, um, to that location. So now you see we've, we've really done a, a good job of weaving together you know, all the information and data and content that's available in the internet with our onboard systems. Number one, probably first and foremost, it's safer. Right? We saw that people initially were taking their MP3 players, their iPods, um, and their cell phones and using them and using the interface on the phone to access. You know, they, they would take an iPod and they'd plug it in the aux input jack, and then the chain songs, they'd have to look down, take their eyes off the road. So the first thing we did with Sync is we implemented you know, a voice-based system so you can select from your songs, play similar songs, do all kinds of things through a voice interface. Every time you get into a Ford uh, Sync-equipped vehicle, it automatically downloads your contact list from your phone. A lot of the competitive systems require you to actually either train the system right, or enter your contacts a second time. Two, it, it's, it's a connected experience that people are demanding these days, right? And so, for instance, our TDI functionality, traffic, directions, and information, and routing, and turn-by-turn -turn routing, um, you can get that ubiquitously. You can get that at the computer, you can get it through your phone, or you can get it while you're in your car. And so people like that. They like to stay connected. Um, and we're using the phone that you bring into your car to make this all affordable. During the Fiesta launch, we talked about a product called AppLink. And what that does, it's a, it's a set of APIs that allows you to connect Sync, really your vehicle and all the interfaces within Sync, to the applications that sit on your smartphone. I mean, we announced our first three partners were Pandora, Stitcher, and OpenBeak, which is really a Twitter application. And we're going to extend that to many more applications that sit on your smartphone. 
Um, and through that functionality, right, we really open up a world of developers. We work very heavily with uh, mobile manufacturers. So uh, Android, you know, Apple, uh, Microsoft, um, and BlackBerry. So really any app that sits on any smartphone, it doesn't matter what smartphone it is, what OS it works, it'll interface with our API. Safety comes first, but under the umbrella of safety, right, we are really trying to make Ford cars as cool as they can be, connected with, uh, I'd say, disruptive business models, right? We, we know we want to stick to our dating and really create a cool UI in the vehicle, which we think we've done with my Ford Touch, 8-inch touch screens, you know, uh, five-way controllers on the steering wheel, um, the Media Hub. Uh, we're making that kind of like the iPod was to the MP, uh, you know, to the MP3 player market. Um, but within that, you know, connectivity, ubiquitous connectivity, wherever you are, and kind of we, we don't want to get behind the consumer electronics trends. We want to keep you connected and keep up with the consumer electronics trends in an affordable way, and we think we're, we've got a good start. This is Guy Daniels for the Connected States of America in Detroit, Michigan.